In this video, we're going to talk about what's really going on in the housing market right now. According to Realtor.com, only about 392,000 U.S. homes were listed for sale in April 2023. That's below the nearly 497,000 listed in April 2022, a time that was infamous for its tight supply, and far below the nearly 552,000 listed in April 2019. April 2023 saw 21.2% fewer U.S. homes go up for sale compared to the same month a year earlier. However, there are actually 49.3% more homes available for sale in April 2023 than in April 2022. You're probably wondering how this is possible. Last year's mortgage rate spike saw homes sit on the market longer and inventory piled up. We're still a far cry from this being a national buyer's market. In fact, active listings in April 2023 were 50.3% below what we saw in April 2019. Among the country's 100 largest housing markets, just one, the slumping Austin housing market is back to pre-pandemic levels with respect to inventory. Meanwhile, the other 99 major markets are still below April 2019 inventory levels. In April 2023, 12.2% of listed homes had price cuts. Homes have stayed on the market an average of 49 days during the past month, an increase of 17 days from this point last year. On a different note, confidence in housing reached its highest level in a year. The reason is an increased number of respondents indicated they think mortgage rates will go down over the next year, a belief that can't be due to a combination of factors including an awareness of decelerating inflation, market suggestions that monetary conditions will ease in the not too distant future, and of course the fact that mortgage rates have actually declined in the last few months. Here are my predictions and thoughts about the housing market. The biggest factor on the minds of buyers is affordability. Close to all-time high prices and elevated mortgage rates have made affordability the lowest since 2006. Because of this, buyers are just not that excited to buy homes. Many can't afford them, and the ones that do just don't feel the push to buy at these prices and at 6.4% interest rates. Bottom line, while affordability stays low, housing will remain sluggish. Mortgage rates impact the market heavily. John Burns Research and Consulting found that 5.5% is the magic mortgage rate where buyers are compelled to come off the sidelines. If mortgage rates come down, we will see demand stimulated. Mortgage rates coming down will also cause a bump in inventory. Right now, sellers are on the sidelines because they're sitting on 3-4% to mortgage rates and rents are at all-time highs. Sellers who list their homes and use the proceeds to move into a new home are a big part of the housing cycle. Once rates come down, Sellers will come off the sidelines and list their homes, which can bring the market back into equilibrium. The housing market is always localized. Overall, we're continuing to see the most resilient and hottest markets be the most affordable ones that also have hot local economies like Scranton, Pennsylvania and Jackson, Tennessee. Also, the most sluggish markets appear to be the ones that had the steepest price appreciation like Boise, Austin, Las Vegas and Phoenix, or the ones that were hit by unemployment or work from home such as San Francisco. Be careful what you wish for. One of the events that can spur the Fed to lower interest rates is the recession. The deeper the recession, the faster the Fed is expected to cut interest rates. However, the deeper the recession, the more job losses we'll see. Everyone wants rates to go down, but no one wants to see another great recession. In conclusion, between March 2020 and June 2022, the pandemic housing boom saw U.S. prices as measured by the seasonally adjusted Case-Shiller Index skyrocket 41.1%. Since then, national home prices have deflated about 3%. That reduces the remaining pandemic housing boom gains to about 37%. A gain like this over three years is unprecedented and cannot be maintained. I can see the housing market remaining sluggish for years to come with modest year-over-year -year gains or potentially some losses. It seems unlikely we'll see any boom days ahead given how low affordability is. We'll keep a close eye on things. If you like my content, please subscribe and we'll have more to come in the days and weeks ahead. Thank you.